Hey guys, it's Art with Ruris again and I wish you a very happy new year 2020. If you're just like me creating digital art, then I wish you have a very good creative year with lots of new ideas flowing into your head. And if you are working on your more, more towards the physical aspect of your body, trying to improve your energy and stamina, then I am doing the same as well and I am going to post my weekly progress of my hikes and some workouts and I hope I can hear some words of encouragement from you all just uh, just click on likes or if you can just drop a comment saying great work and if you have a YouTube channel I would like to follow you as well I mean if you are also doing some kind of um, progress tracking so I just cook up this uh, Art, this piece of art real fast to celebrate the new year um, this character is let's take a look at the website of the the developer of this model so it's from Crocodile Liu um, this artist make a lot of uh, great anime like character uh, some race queen some, some, some kimono dress so um, this package comes with the model Rain or I'm not sure if it's pr pronounced as Raine and her hair as well so as you can see she's a very pretty cosplayer type look uh, very slim with a sharp nose and chin and some really fantastic tattoos on her back which I have not tried uh, that will be my next project definitely I'll, I'll just render a few of her uh, bareback and all so I just want to share with you uh, the techniques that I have employed and used in this render <coughs> it's a very simple setup but the effect is good you can make some really nice art out of this model um, she comes out looking just as good as her promo artwork which I can't say for all the other dance creators sometimes you get some it's like you know you're looking for Taylor Swift and you get Justin Bieber or something like that so this uh, model Rain you down you buy her that's what she get uh, that's what you will get in your render so let's take a look at my setup nothing fancy just the model looking straight into the camera wearing a kimono dress in a courtyard kind of uh, environment so let's take a look at the base renders so this uh, very plain render uh, resolution 3000 times 2000 just a uh, few simple light uh, the environment light for the background which gives it a slight uh, blue green hue and a bright white light with a hint of a back lid on her hair oh yeah she also comes with a self illuminated eyes it's very nice uh, I prefer rendering it separately so you can brighten it up and increase saturation as you wish Mm, of course, as usual, my favorite technique is to render the rim light independently so you can perform the adjustment as you require. Oh, and this is one extra trick that that I have uh, implemented in this post work. So, as if you are already familiar with Dash 3D, trying to put some kind of atmospheric example, atmospheric object into the 3D scene could be costly to your in terms of a GPU and CPU processing power you can put you know those uh, those god rays or some smoke effect on the background but those can really double up your rendering time so for this one I'm just trying to create a similar effect uh, using very cheap effective techniques so what you do is you just go into Google search and download uh, just search for bokeh B-O-K-E-H get something like this that is not too colorful so is this uh, 
primary, a dark background, some bluish light. The bluish light can be adjusted easily in Photoshop, so it's not a big deal. So once you've got all this, let's move on into the Photoshop and yeah, let me give you a step by step on what I did. So on the basic layer, okay, so start with the basic render. Alright, so what I do is I add the bokeh. Um, so as expected, it will affect the model face and her body as well. So you just add the layer mask and you paint it all away. Um, yeah, so the effect is similar to that. Alright, so I adjust the hue saturation, give you a more purplish hue um, because my as you can see, my rim lights here are purple as well, so I just want to match it all up. Okay, so this is my final layer. Just give it uh, some exposure boost, a bit of contrast and all that. You can, you can control all this in the camera raw filter. So the glow layer base, this is the, the rim layer which I render independently as usual I give it a screen uh, depending on the situation sometimes you can use uh, like color dodge as well if you want a stronger highlight on her hair so I give it some adjustment on the vibrance and in the 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 illumination for the eye so you can see this yeah let me give it a closer zoom so without with so if you want it to have a brighter glow you can just copy the layer adjust the lightness saturation all that as you wish very flexible here so this is my the the pre-completed post work point two so as usual i will make a multiple layer of the glow just to give it a more enhanced effect so for those parts which are too strong, normally I'll just paint it away in the layer mask. I'll just reduce it a bit. Like maybe the, the shoulder area here is really strong, so I just turn it off a bit. So I, yeah. So this is the layer 0.3.0 that I end up with. So over here, I'm not done yet. Uh, so what I did is I, I experimented with stronger contrast, uh, a higher clarity. The dark layer shadows. Okay, uh, so you get a more a uh, graphical look. Um, it actually looks. So the hair actually looks better, and the dress as well really comes up. But the skin layer is affected quite heavily. So what I did is, um, as usual, just create a new layer and. Copy the, just duplicate the layer, add the layer mask and uh, paint the skin parts with black so the original layer goes through. So this is my final copy. Right, as you can see here, this is my, this is my end result. Yeah, so um, a few tips is which I actually did as well, you can, uh, if the hair is not dark enough due to all the the screen layer that you put on top of each other, you can go to the camera for raw filter and just paint the dodge or burn to darken the exposure in the hair a bit. So, yeah, so my review is, uh, this is a very great model if you prefer the cosplayer look. Um, she's great character it's very easy to get uh, her looks to pop out so yeah i hope everyone have a great year right okay i'm gonna check out now if you love this video please uh, subscribe share with your friends and if you are working out as well um check out my some of my hiking videos okay thank you very much See you around.